In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the Samplitude Audio Quantization Wizard. The latest update has improved the accuracy of transient detection with the inclusion of the percussive algorithm. As the name implies, this algorithm has been optimized for use with rhythmic audio material. Audio quantize is a commonly used method for fixing the timing of sloppy or fluctuating multitracked drum recordings. Although it can also be used additionally as a creative tool to modify an existing groove. The timing of the drums in my example will benefit from some AQ treatment. So I'm going to take you through the process step by step. I'm going to play you the pre-processed drums along with the metronome to give you an idea of the task at hand. This particular drum part consists of alternating 4-4 and 5-8 sections. The 4-4 parts probably need the most attention, but for this tutorial I'm going to quantize the entire drum part in one go. The first step is to open the Audio Quantization Wizard, and this can be done from the menu item Object, Quantize, Audio Quantization Wizard. The AQ Wizard can be either free floating or docked. If it is opened up in a docked state, Left click and drag the tab into the VIP and release the mouse to float it. My preference is to dock the window to the left edge of the VIP. To do this, grab the top of the window and drag to the center until a circle with arrows appears. Positioning the mouse over the left arrow will turn the left side of the VIP green. Releasing the mouse will dock the wizard to the left side. Before going any further, you may find it useful to turn on Comparisonics Waveform Colors as an editing aid. Press Y and go to View Options and enable them under Waveform Colors Comparisonics Colors. Click OK to confirm the selection. Once the standard waveforms have been replaced with Comparisonics Waveforms, they will be colored according to their frequency and harmonic content. Comparisonics is able to show the visual difference between varying sounds. For example, the waveform of the kick will be black and the snare waveform a bluish grey. This can be very useful, particularly when adjusting transient detection sensitivity when the kick drum has some snare leakage. You should quickly be able to differentiate a kick hit to a snare hit and this will make adjusting the transient markers much more straightforward. Comparisonics in the world of DAWs is unique to Samplitude and Sequoia. It can be a real time saver making certain editing tasks a lot easier. Once you become familiar with using Comparisonics you may well find it an indispensable tool. Although the colour palette of Comparisonics will be much more noticeable when viewing melodic material.
First, we need to detect the transients of the kick and snare, as these are the dominant rhythmic elements and will be used as the quantized reference for the other drum tracks. Transient markers are placed at the initial attack portion of the sound. Incidentally, you can adjust the height of the waveforms by holding down the shift modifier and rolling the mouse wheel forward to increase the height and backwards to decrease the height. So I'm now going to select the kick drum object and adjust the sensitivity fader. Here's a tip you may find useful. Because the audio quantized markers are red and the default selected object color is orange, I find that the orange background doesn't give the greatest visibility of the AQ markers. If you find this is the case as well, try this. Press Y on the keyboard and go to the Colors tab. Where it says Selected Object Top, click on the orange to open the color selector and change it to a more visually friendly color. I find black is very good for this. So now when I close the window you will see that the red AQ markers are more visible against the black background. Although of course you may find another color is more suitable for your needs. Take note, when you first select an audio object, adjusting the sensitivity fader will initiate the detection process automatically. Alternatively you can click the Analyze Again button to do the detection first and then adjust the sensitivity fader afterwards. You can also press the Clear button to reset detection for that object and then use the Analyze Again button to redetect. When it comes to adjusting sensitivity, clicking inside the AQ Wizard's Sensitivity text box allows you to use the mouse wheel to make single digit adjustments. Add the Control modifier to adjust in increments of 10. Alternatively, click on the fader and then use the mouse wheel to adjust in increments of 10 or add shift to adjust in increments of 1. You can quickly zoom in or out horizontally on the timeline by using the control modifier plus the mouse wheel. Or just use the mouse wheel alone to scroll horizontally left or right. You can now see the red audio quantize markers appearing at the start of each kick. Adjust the sensitivity until you're happy that all the hits have been given AQ markers. Next, I'm selecting the snare drum object and adjusting the sensitivity fader until all the snare hits have been detected. This drum part also includes some tom fills, so I'm going to detect the transients for the toms as well. <laughs> 